How you doing today, folks? And welcome to the overview slash fairly half-assed review of the Paragon Knives or Asheville Steel Paragon War Party. Now, this is going to be a relatively simple review or a half-assed review because I really have not used this because this is actually going to be going back to Blade HQ where I purchased it from because this piece, if you can see from right here, the best way I can put it is if you hold on to this piece right here, which is a belt clip, it pops right off. Now, during actual carry, if you were to actually carry this piece, it will fall out of your actual sheath, which makes it into an immediate hazard. So, we're going to go ahead and discount the sheath right now and assume if you're going to buy this, you're going to be spending the extra money to get a custom piece of Kydex and or leather. But as far as the actual axe itself, you have a beautiful blade ground of D2. Very interesting grind lines. Not grind lines, kind of like swedges right here to be able to split wood. You have this very interesting carbon fiber pattern right here. Which there's not too many axes in carbon fiber for obvious reasons. So that's very, very cool. You also have a nice contour G10 piece here. Which actually feels really, and I mean really good in hand. Now, as far as actually choking up on this axe, you'll immediately run into a problem where you can see there's not much room at all for this little piece right here. So during actual use, you will rub it on your actual knuckles, you will get blisters, you will have problems. If you hold it really, really tight, I'm trying the best I can to minimize it, as you can see it's still right, right there, so you will 100% rub your knuckle on that, and that will be a problem. So that is not particularly a good thing by any stretch of the imagination. However, for actual work, theoretically speaking, I have not actually tested this. The design looks very, very functional. This will bite into the wood. This will split the wood. Will it be an amazing axe? Probably not, but definitely will still be good to go. This is also something that is more than anything else, simply put, an art piece. And as an art piece, this is beautiful. It's crazy looking. The sheath is not super functional, but at least it all looks kind of cool. You have branding, in my humble opinion, in the wrong spot. This should be kind of turned around to be able to look at it straight on, not have to turn the axe. Similar with the actual maker right there. This is a collaboration between this design company and Paragon Knives or Asheville Steel. But overall, it is a really, really interesting piece. But I really wish the sheath actually functioned properly, because if it would, I would definitely be keeping this. So, in closing this very, very brief review, I would say this is a piece that is 100% interesting. It is design over function. If you want to actually buy this for use and carry, you will definitely need a new sheath, because this thing is absolutely garbage. And if nothing else, it is an utterly unique design that I kind of love. I'm not in the position right now where I want to go about buying extra sheets and spending extra money on this, that, and the other. I just really don't care enough. But if I were, this would definitely be sticking around because it is an honestly pretty badass axe. As far as the actual review goes, I would give this a 8 out of 10 by itself. But because we have this terrible ass sheath that is genuinely unsafe to the end user, I would give this a 5 out of 10. To be clear, it's not bad by any means, but it definitely isn't the greatest either. And for the price point of $500, there's a lot out there that's a whole lot better. Now, as always, folks, I love you all. Please take care and goodbye.